everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a little haul for you i did unfortunately get some more items from the summer sale and i did participate in the back to back to school single wick kennel sale that we had yesterday so i have two bags this is the first one and let's dive in first kennel i got is the white barn signature single wick candle champagne apple and honey I'm loving the label here. It almost looks like stained glass to me. At least that's how I see it. And burgundy is my favorite color. We have a burgundy or maybe it's a maroon label with the same color wax. So they coordinated the wax to the label, which I think is really nice. It kind of draws you into the candle. And we have notes of crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. So I get, of course, the apple, the champagne, and the honey mix in together really nicely and really adds to the apple scent so it's not a normal or boring apple i of course it's not going to rewrite the history of apple scents however the champagne and the honey really adds to the apple scent it mixes in there quite lovely and this is one of my favorite fall candles you cannot go wrong with champagne apple and honey and there's the lovely burgundy wax and the next candle i got is caramel pumpkin swirl i'm loving the brown label i'm loving the brown wax it goes really well together my ring light might be distorting it just a little bit and we have still the stained glass effect going on this is a pretty classy label the stained glass is nice and it's simple but classy we have notes of luscious caramel ground cinnamon and brown sugar i don't see pumpkin in the scent notes um, maybe it's there somewhere, but I mostly, when I smell it on cold, I get caramel and sugar, uh, with some cinnamon, I suppose. So, I, I do get those scent notes. The caramel definitely is there. The sugar is there. If you are craving calories, but you don't necessarily want to eat calories, I would burn caramel pumpkin swirl. However, each sniff in the air will probably add 20 calories to your being. So, yes, in other words, this is a very sweet candle, and the calories will definitely be coming out of the flame and getting emitted into the air. But that's why we like this candle, because it's a sweet candle and gourmand. I wish there was more pumpkin in there, or pumpkin in general. However, this is a wonderful sweet candle that's perfect for fall. Not necessarily for today's weather in Sacramento, it was almost 100 degrees. Tomorrow and the next day, the weekend, we'll get up to like 105 or maybe worse. So this caramel pumpkin squirrel will have to wait. And I was happy to get this new bourbon maple candle during the 595 sale yesterday because this one is an atrocious. 1995, so $20. Uh, not sure why, maybe the label because it's wraparound and different. I have no idea. It's still the same wax, still the same uh, paraffin and soy wax. I don't think anything is different, uh, maybe just label. So we have notes of barrel-aged bourbon, sugared amber, and maple wood. At least on cold, I'm getting mostly bourbon and maple, which makes sense, hence bourbon maple. And this collection, I called this in my last video the exoplanet collection because it looks like we're in space. Uh, descending onto an alien world, so we have a different landscape there. However, I also think this looks like dark chocolate, so this is bourbon maple. And the last single candle that I got is cranberry orange seltzer. I'm loving the color scheme on this one. We have some pink and orange, violet, brown, white. Uh, kind of looks like maybe a thermal, um, or maybe kind of looks like uh, maybe Yellowstone or something. Or an alien world, like I mentioned before. So, cranberry orange seltzer. And yes, $20. We have notes of fresh orange, sugared cranberries, and fizzy seltzer water. How does everyone feel about this price? $20 for a single wick? It's getting a little ridiculous. And maybe I could possibly understand it if they started using like a vegetable wax or 100% soy wax. Maybe wax that's a little more expensive or fragrance oils essential oils that are higher quality maybe but this is the same old same old bath and body works wax and everything the whole shebang is the same so maybe it's just a label however i i guess i really wanted to make sure i got 
both of these candles during the $5.95 sale. And with that $5.95 sale, it's 70% off $20. So not too bad. And now the second bag. So I got two different three wick candles at the Rockland store. These were 75% off. We have Vivid Emerald, Notes of Radiant Ivy, Sweet Jasmine, and Fresh Musk. I would describe this as a perfumey floral, uh, yeah, perfumey floral and green. Uh, not my favorite. However, I might just swap this out. So uh, we'll see. Label is kind of interesting, but also kind of boring. Green arches and everything else is white. But it's not a bad scent, but maybe not my favorite or far from my favorite. However, it's 75% off, so hmm, try new things if I do keep it. And the last candle, I got three of these. This is Mahogany Vanilla. I am loving the label. This wraparound is nice. It's like we are in late fall going toward winter. There's a different feeling in the air. Or maybe it's so dark because there's a forest fire and we are trying to uh, flee from said forest fire. Um, no, I think we're going to paint a better, pic a better picture than that. It's a wonderful late fall scene in the forest. And so this is a mahogany vanilla, uh, warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. And I love sandalwood. I love bergamot. Vanilla is pretty, ni pretty nice too. However, I believe it's, it's been done quite a bit. Uh, but I, it is nice in here. Th all three scent notes create a lovely candle and I will probably keep one of these. I did get three. So those are the three Mahogany Vanilla candles that I got. I will probably swap out two of them. And yeah, that's my final, I mean, okay. Hopefully that's my final, this is my final summer sale haul. And that's my back to school single wick 595 sale. We have my blue glass vase there. I'm burning an Aqua de Parma candle in there. It's very, very nice. There's the orb, my Dictic huge 1,500 gram tuberose candle, and of course Jigglypuff is in the back. So that's my haul for today. I hope everyone has fun shopping Halloween in a few hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to shop. I prefer to shop in person, but yeah, I'm super excited for Halloween and I cannot believe it's already here. Uh, at least Bath and Body, in Bath and Body Works world, it's already here. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.